I, uh, I've got a grandson fairly close to your age, and, and he probably would go for a younger woman anyway, so that <laughs> I will mention him to you, <laughs> mention you to him. The, uh, no, if you're interested in financial matters, A, a you've got to have something to work with. I mean, I, I, I was fortunate in that respect because my dad paid for my education. Uh, if he hadn't, I probably wouldn't have become educated if I had to pay for myself. But so I was able to save ten thousand dollars by the time I was twenty-one, and uh, you know that was a huge, huge head start. Uh, if I hadn't have been able to do that, and you know my first child came along when I was twenty-two, so I mean the, the family, it's it's much easier to save it. Uh, in those teenage years, if you're lucky enough to be in a family where you don't have, where your parents are taking care of your financial obligations, uh, every dollar then is, you know, worth making 10 or $20 later on. And so if you are interested in financial matters, getting a stake early uh, is very useful and getting knowledge early is very useful. So, uh, you know, I would say you're well on, well on the way if, it, if at 11 you're even interested in coming to a meeting like this, and I would if that interest is maintained, you know, I would read financial publications. I would, I would read whatever was of interest to me. I'd, I'd be curious about how the businesses around uh, the town of Kearney operated. I would, uh, to the extent that you can get people to talk to you, and people usually like to talk, you know, learn about who's got bu good businesses in Kearney and why they're good businesses and learn about the businesses that went out of business and why they went out of business and just keep accumulating knowledge. That's one of the beauties of the business that Charlie and I are in is that everything is cumulative. The stuff I learned when I was 20 is, is useful today. Not necessarily the same way and not necessarily every day, but it, it, it's useful. So you're building a database in your mind that is going to pay off over time. But you have to have a little money to work with. So there's nothing like, there's nothing like getting a few dollars ahead, stay away from credit cards, and uh, you can have a lot of fun if your mind goes along that track as you get older. Charlie? Well, I'm glad to see somebody that has so early shown an interest in getting ahead. There's nothing wrong with getting ahead. And actually, she may have the best idea about getting ahead by learning the name of my grandson. <laughs> Well, there I can give the young lady some advice. Before your feelings totally take over, you should look carefully at both parents and all four grandparents. Write <laughs> <laughs> Charlie and let us know how it works out. <laughs> Area C. 